guys welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're just stopping by my name is Brenda and today I am going to be doing a plan with me in my happy planner this is the classic size happy planner I still love this cover um, and I'm using the black discs these are not happy planner discs these are discs that I got from Office Max they are made by Tool T-U-L and they are the one and a half inch discs and because my planner was getting a little bit chunky I decided to pop my planner on these discs so I could take you know some months out of here if I wanted to but I kinda like keeping it all together so um, do a little April flip through this is my April monthly these stickers uh, I got from Hobby Lobby and I just think they turned out so cute. Normally we have April showers, bring May flowers. Uh, this April in Canton it's more like snow. We've had snow I can't even count how many times. Um, we just had snow this past Thursday, the 19th, I had over an inch of snow on my car. Uh, here's my little Easter plan with me. Here is a kit that I used lots of purples and pinks. Really like this color. This is a plan with me that I just did uh, in honor of my dad's birthday. Uh, his birthday is ap actually April 26th, but I went ahead and did it on this week's um, planner spread because of doing the kind of collab with the Plan With Me design group for this week. I did not purchase the kit because someone that I work with gifted me this beautiful set of stickers. This is from Taryn's Sticker Shop. I have never purchased from her, but one of my coworkers gave me these stickers, and I just thought they were so pretty and so appropriate for the design that the Plan With Me Design Group is going to do their collab. So here is the first sheet. Here are the full boxes. Here are your little things and to-dos to make your lists. Here are some half boxes. A couple bill dues. Here are your date covers and here are some washi strips. I just think that is so pretty. And here's a cute little girl with an umbrella. Weekend banner and some more little full boxes and washi strips. So I just thought this kit was so cute and I'm so thankful. Her name is Amanda. She's just a little sweetheart. So I'm going to pop these off the discs to make it easier to decorate and this is going to be my version of the Plan With Me Design Group collab for this week. So I think I will put the washi strips down first. But yeah, um, this co-worker used to be into planning, but she's not anymore and she didn't want all of the stickers to go to waste so she gave them to me. That looks so pretty down there. I love all of the Etsy sticker kits. I just adore them. But I guess I'm... You could call me cheap. You could call me frugal. You can call me whatever you want, but I just can't see paying all of that money for stickers that you're going to use one time. That's just me. 
I know there are plenty, plenty, obviously, of other women that purchase them or else all of these Etsy shops wouldn't still be in business. I'm going to put that cute little girl with the rainbow right there. And here is my little skinny washi collection. I picked out these three. I'm going to see how these three do. But all of these are from uh, Recollections from Michaels. I used probably a 40 or 50 percent off because I never pay full price for any of my washi. This little container is from Dollar Tree. It's a little clear acrylic organizer and it was a dollar. It has a little lid and it just keeps all of my little skinny washi all nice and organized. So we're going to go with these three, see how that does. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and put my date covers on first. Those are really cute. So I hope you guys are having a good week. My week so far has been very good. Zoom you in a little bit here so you can see what I'm doing. I like these little date covers because normally I sometimes I just don't like the color that the Happy Planner has for that week and these are nice to cover those up. So there are the date covers. Those look really cute. And let's gonna go ahead and take a look at the full boxes. These are just so cute. So cute. So I think, how many do I have here? One, two, three, four, I have eight. She looks very cute there. I'm trying to decide, I think I want this one over here. Umbrella one here beside her. This one says Dance in the Rain. sure which planner these are designed to fit. They don't fill up the happy planner boxes, but that's okay. I don't stress about that. Because you can always add washi at the top.
go with these cute little clouds. And I love these little umbrellas. Those are so cute. All kinds of different colored umbrellas. So I used up that whole sheet. It looks really cute. That's how it is so far. And I think I'll go ahead and put some washi down. The hard part's always finding the end of it. Oh yeah, that looks cute there. Grab my little washi cutter. Yeah, this would have been uh, the week of my dad's birthday. His birthday is actually on Thursday, April 26th. Uh, I mentioned in my last video he would have been 97 years old this year. He died in 2000 and there is not a day that goes by that I don't think of him or still miss him. There are things that just so remind me of him on a daily basis, especially now with um, spring coming. He just absolutely loved spring. He loved getting out in nature and walking. And he just absolutely loved spring. And as I did in my last video with the honeybees, you know, he'd start you know, checking on his honeybee hives, and he loved planting a garden. Um, he would go for walks in the woods, and I don't know how many of you know what may apple and ginseng are, but it would actually grow wild out in our woods. And Dad would get out and just go for a nature walk. And he would come back with like may, may apple and ginseng. And he would dry those out. And there was a place that would actually buy those from him. That doesn't want to cut. So I will just fix it. But yeah, he would um, he would bring those home and dry them out, and then he would take them and sell them. There were these places that would buy them because they're used in medicines, particularly ginseng. But there's just so so many things that remind me of my dad. So even though your loved ones are gone, as long as you remember them, you have the memories, they're physically gone, but they will always be a part of you. And I just have so many wonderful memories of my dad that I could never forget him. All right, got my washi down. I think I'm just going to go with this this color. These other ones seemed a little too, a little too bright. So let's see what else I got here. Here's my little weekend banner. Let's put that on. Let's 
put that up here. That looks cute. Not a whole lot of deco, so I'm trying to decide what I'm going to do here. How are those? I think I'm going to go with the full boxes here and like the half boxes there. That's what I think I'm going to do. Start with the yellow. Those are pretty. I really do like the colors in this. And I don't mind that it goes a little bit over on the washi strip. That doesn't bother me at all. Very cute. I like that. So there's how it looks so far at the top. Got your rain cloud with raindrops. And then those decorative full boxes. And then the check heart checklists at the bottom. This little sticker says me time. I'm going to put that between Thursday and Friday. I'm off Thursday and then Friday is just the best day ever. You know what, I think I'll scoot this over because this one actually says Friday. Very cute. Have a date night sticker. Not sure when Hubby and I will get to do date night. He is working a lot next week. So I am going to put it on Saturday night, but not sure when it's going to happen for sure. We'll plan on it being Saturday night. Normally they have a little, because I have a hair appointment Thursday, but I don't see, I don't see a hair appointment sticker. That's odd. Well, we will just mark it another way. Sorry guys, let me scooch over so you can see what I'm doing. I get all excited about what I'm doing and forget all about it.
these little half boxes are nice because you can put them on as decoration and either write over top of them or even, you know, write underneath them. I'm not a big no white space kind of girl. I like to have some white space to write in. But those are really cute. Let's put these at the bottom since I have those up top. This is really a cute kit. Really, really cute. I, th I think the kits are, are just darling, but I just... I just can't stand to part with the money myself. Let's see what else we got here. Put this little don't forget so I don't forget my hair appointment. I'm gonna put this little to buy over here. And put one of these cute Heart checklists. I think these are really cute. Very cute. Need something over here. What do I need? another half box. I think we'll go with this one. That's cute. Very cute. All right, I think that's going to be it. Let's pop this back in the planner. I like how it turned out. So this is the week of April 23rd through the 29th for the Plan With Me design group. And um, this is not a total, like it's, I'm not doing the exact collab that they are, but it's something similar. Um, I just love how it turned out. I love that I had this kit. And thank you so much, Amanda, for gifting it to me. But I think it turned out really cute. Love the colors. Love the theme of the April showers. This is the last full week in April. So hopefully the April showers will bring the May flowers and we can get rid of the snow. All right, guys, that is my plan with me for the Plan With Me Design Group. Um, I would love it if after you watch my video, you would check out all the other people that I have linked uh, down below in the description box. We all have different kinds of planners. We all plan differently. Um, and I just think you would enjoy it, and I think there's something there for everybody. All right, guys, I hope you have a beautiful and blessed week, and I will see you in my next video. Until then. God bless. Bye-bye.